Many people doesn't know about international students, what I usually struggle with, or what it feels like to be an international student. Today, we invite three international students to talk about this. Um, my name is Ray Lin. At school, sometimes I also go by Linda. I was 14 when I first came to judge. I am from Shenyang. Uh, I'm Yang Sinan. I'm from Kunming, China. I first came to judge when I was 15 years old. So my mom knew like her friend's son who went here and then um, he said Judge is a pretty good school and they offer like a lot of different classes. So my mom is like, okay, then you might as well just go to Judge.这里大家人都还不错然后到了这边以后他们也是就是Mr.Dinner和Mr.Hashino 这些上课的制度也挺懵逼的，然后他们就答疑解惑吧，给我解决了我很多困惑的地方。Um, yeah, sure. So I would like to mention my best friend Shuang, who graduated last year. I used to be a person that does not really want to go to like games or does not really want to participate in school activities because I'm like pretty introverted in that way. And Shuang really told me that um, those are the stuff that really helps you to, you know, understand um, like culture. And I started to participate in those activities as well. So I think she really helped me to become a more extroverted person. And I'm grateful for having her always like supporting me in all the decisions I make. And she was um, really like encouraging encouraging and she's passionate about things that she does so that affected me positively as well. Okay, so um, I think the reason why I came here for uh, school is that I want to like I want to have a more rigorous English education. So Judge definitely helped me to um, prepare for like college. Um, Judge offers a lot of AP courses, which are college level. And I think just by communicating in English like every day, like be more expressive in English to get to know more about um, like American culture and stuff. And I think um, I would like to attend college somewhere that is like in a bigger city or with like more people because um, I would like to experience that. 说英语，那肯定是说英语啊，因为我是中国那边公立学校来的，就我没有很好英语基础，就不像大多数过来留学生，可能私立学校或者他们本来就欧洲国家，他们本来就有很好英语基础，所以我过来的时候相当于我基本
、um, really was difficult. So, I t h i n 之后，因为有一些在台湾那边会用的字跟那边不同，然后就是有一些想表达字表达不出来，有些感觉表达不出来。呃、uh, ，我觉得最主要就是吃的东西，就我们因为我们中国，就我中我是中国人，已经习惯了中国那些菜的胃口了，然后来这边就感觉美国人做的东西其实不能说恶心吧，然后他们这边就是什么芝士什么的，每次我吃的都很腻，感觉比中餐差一万倍。So I think. To international student that really wants to come to judge for an education, I would really、um, suggest them to be more like extroverted. I know it's something that、um, not everyone feels comfortable about, just reaching out to people and starting a conversation and stuff. But I feel like、um, when you are initiating a conversation or when you are making friends, make us you know like happier. I think. Also, don't hesitate to reach out to other people for help and know that.、Um, The majority of people are willing to help you, so I think、um, definitely just be more、um, like willing to talk and be like ask for help when you need to is like my two big advice. Funny stories. I I think there's too many. I make a lot of mistakes. Like um, uh, even now I feel like I still talk. Funny sometimes.、Um. <laughs> This is so hard. Oh, 就是一开始来的时候，他们就是国际部 Mr. Dylan 就问我，有一次问我，我他我们住家每天接送我上下学都开什么样子的车？因为我当时说那个英语也说的非常的恶心嘛，然后。就当时也很紧张，你就是我在国内没什么说英语的机会，一出来说英语很紧张，然后我就跟他说，我本来想表达的是我的住家开的是 Toyota 的 SUV， 我想表达是 SUV， 但我说出口的一直都是 USA， 所以就。给那个 Mr. Dylan 听的一愣一愣的，说我们每天坐着，呃， Toyota 的 USA 上学。I don't know. I don't think there's any funny stories. It's more like embarrassing stories. Oh, I first met Steven. He thought I was a foreigner. I'm a Chinese American. So he told me English. Then I told him a Chinese phrase. He said, "Oh, you can speak Chinese." Then we started speaking Chinese. I realize that people don't use a lot of complex words in daily communications. Like it's more about like slangs and.、Um, Yeah, I think after I came here, like the language difference, I really had to like learn a lot of slangs and learn like what people use every day. Like when people say it's sick, I thought, oh, is that bad? Yeah, because it's really it's really tricky because sick means good.、Um, so yeah, that would be like a funny thing to talk about. Thank you so much. No, thank you guys. 好好，没了，结束了，没了，拜拜。